morning. Welcome to our special Facebook Live series, Expert Connections. We are now midway through our third week of connecting you with experts from a variety of industries, all with insights to share as we navigate through this COVID-19 pandemic. We have talked with legal and tax experts, advisors who can talk us through the small business stimulus money, unemployment questions, health and wellness, and even homeschooling and tech advice for working from home. Today, we bring you three new experts in three different areas, starting with Jessica Brooks, who is the owner of The Dress Shop. Jessica, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I, this is an awesome opportunity to be able to hopefully help a couple people. Yeah, so Jess, we are talking about um, a very specific demographic of people, obviously, brides and grooms who have been planning their 2020 weddings and, and beyond. Um, and so I really, um, I know we, we've gotten a lot of questions. Um, I know a lot of friends who are planning weddings who have had a lot of questions. So I want to really dive right in to talk about the impact that this coronavirus pandemic is having on both your business and, and then the wedding industry um, as a whole. So First of all, what do brides who are still hoping to have spring and early summer weddings, so the ones that are really coming up here in the next couple of months, what do they need to know? Um, well, the biggest thing for those brides is everything is just so up in the air right now. And, you know, I've talked to some brides who are still planning um, May weddings and then other brides who have moved their June, their July weddings, you know, to to next year. So um, the problem is, is just nobody has a solution. Um, so I think the first thing is brides and grooms really need to decide what's most important to them. You know, I've um, we recently had a couple that they decided that they just wanted to be married. And so unfortunately they had to cancel the the big party and they had to, and they got, but they got married just the two of them with their officiant. And that's what they really, that's what mattered. And that was cool. But you know, um, if your priority is having every guest present or having your dream day with no significant changes, then you really need to figure out what that looks like. And that probably means moving your date at this time. Um, it's definitely too soon to know when this will be over. Um, but we're even seeing a lot of brides move into the fall. Um, Sunday weddings and also Monday weddings are becoming a thing. So um, I think the most important thing for brides is to look at their guest list, who's gonna be there, who's going to be missing out and then talk to their vendors too. Um, their venues in particular will be a really good resource for them with suggestions. Um, everybody's kind of, we're, we're all we're all kind of trying to figure this out as we go, but, but so far I've seen a lot of people pushing their dates further into the fall. Absolutely. I mean, I was just talking to someone this morning and, and we were commenting that there isn't a guidebook for this. None of us have ever lived through a pandemic before. So we're all figuring this out as we go. And I love that you mentioned talking to vendors because um, that's something that's really consistent across all industries. But I know for sure in the wedding industry, talk to your vendors. Everyone's in the same situation. If you can delay or postpone, push your wedding out. Um, vendors are willing to work with you on that, especially because they're busy businesses too. And so they're looking at how is this going to impact them? They want to keep everyone safe. So if you can push it out a couple months and still have that big day that you've dreamed of, you know, what a win-win for everyone involved. But I also love, Jessica, how you talked about, um, you know, if, if you want, you can still have that intimate wedding. It can be just the two of you. I've seen some really, um, really intimate ceremonies that are happening. I know, you know, some videos that get shared and that's really yeah. cool to see. Have that moment now, if that's what you want, and save the big party for when this is over, because we're certainly going to have a lot to party about when <laughs> yes. we all get together. So yeah. I want to I want to ask you specific to to your store, the dress shop in Howell. Um, should brides who have already ordered their dresses are there concerns about delays? Maybe we're talking about a bride who has a fall wedding scheduled, or maybe something um, you know for the winter coming up. What are you seeing as far as delays? What should those brides know? So um, a couple of things. I've probably read the same articles that you've read and that a lot of our brides have read um, saying that, you know, dresses are being delayed and manufacturers are, you know, in shutdown. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, um, we have really amazing designers. Um, I'm very, very blessed by our designers. Um, and they have actually all assured us that they're still at full production and gowns are being shipped as planned. So right now, the only delays that we are seeing um, would be due to the individual state quarantines. Um, but shipping will resume um, as soon as each individual state announces an end of quarantine. So um, 
as far as but production of dresses, everything is right on schedule. And yeah, we're we're so good. You know, we're we're very very blessed. And um, yeah, I think we're uh, brides do not need to be concerned if they've got their dress through us. We're good. That I'm sure a lot of brides are breathing a sigh of relief hearing that. And I'm sure your your phones are probably ringing off the hooks. Um, just to answer those questions. And Jess, I know we were talking as Governor um, Whitmer had issued the executive order here for the stay, you know, stay home, stay safe executive order. You had actually gone in to the to the dress shop, which had already closed. You had already made the decision to close for the safety of of your guests as well as for your own staff. And I know that must have been a very difficult decision to make. But I know you had gone in that day yourself to in, in what, like some 25 brides were able to get their dress. Yeah before that order went into place. Yeah, yeah. As soon as the governor announced that we were that she was um issuing that order, um, I ran right into work. And we actually we had received I think a hundred hundred bridal gowns that day um for brides. And so literally me and um one other employee, we went in and we steamed as many dresses and we contacted every single bride and said if you need to pick up your dress, we are here today. So thankfully we were yeah 25 brides we were able to get dresses out to that day um which was a blessing just not knowing what happens next or how long this is going to be in a place. And the last thing I would want is a bride to not have her dress for her day. So, yeah. yeah. So Jessica, what is um, the dress shop specifically doing right now to help brides and grooms as they're figuring out their next steps? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we actually have a lot of systems on in place and our systems are changing daily. So if you're watching this tomorrow, it might be different answers. But um, the most importantly, we're maintaining contact um, seven days a week. Um, most of what I'm doing is email um, or website contacts. That's the quickest way to reach us, obviously, because we don't have access to our phones. Um, being that we're not supposed to be going into the dress shop right now. But um, every day, um, contacting via text, email, and website inquiries, um, all the brides and grooms who have questions. Um, shipping. Um, I've had a couple of brides and bridesmaids who need their dresses as soon as the um, quarantine is lifted. And so I've been able to go into the store um, on a very limited basis and get the dresses that they need and ship them direct to them, which has been, I think, super helpful. I just can't imagine being stressed about your, they're stressed and brides are stressed enough with everything going on. I can't imagine not having their dress as well. So um, the other thing is working with designers. I was talking with a designer this morning um, just to make sure, I mean, they've all promised us that dress, dresses are on time, but I'm still contacting them about individual dresses and saying, Hey, look, I just want to make sure this bride is still planning for her May 15th wedding. Um, just want to make sure that this dress really is on its way, you know, for the last minute orders, we've still got a couple brides that ordered at the last minute. And I want to make sure we can get their dresses on time. Um, but I also want to talk really quickly about some things that we're doing for um, brides that might be a little bit concerned because they're planning a fall or winter wedding and maybe they haven't ordered their dress yet because we have a lot of brides who had appointments scheduled with us um, for the coming weeks to order bridal gowns or tuxedos or bridesmaids dresses. So um, it's important to remember for fall and winter weddings, they still take up to six to eight months for dresses to come in. So um, there's a couple ways that we can help brides. Um, a lot of brides who haven't chosen their dresses yet, um, if they fall in love with a dress online, we can actually order that still. So we're working with brides who are calling saying, I love this dress and I'm helping them get those ordered, which is, which is an awesome thing that we're still able to do to keep them on time. Or if they prefer to wait until the quarantine is lifted, we totally get that. That would that would be me. I would want to try dresses on in person, so I understand that. But many of our dress our designers actually have a lot of in stock options. So um, they look at what sizes are most popular or what colors they think are going to be um, most you know bread, most brides are going to want, and um, they have dresses available. So we work with brides when a bride comes in, and we look and we'll say, okay, look, we've got this 150 dresses that we can get for you before your wedding date. So um, we're doing, we're gonna be working with a lot of brides doing that once this quarantine is lifted. We also have a lot of sample dresses. We have a really large selection of dresses that a bride can um, take home the day she says yes to the dress. So um, that's gonna be really important. I had a bride contact me with a June wedding and she's like, what do I do? I don't have a dress yet. And I said, no problem. We'll schedule an appointment. Um, and as soon as this is over, we'll, you'll come in, we'll find your dress, you'll just take it home. So we're trying to do what we can you know, from that standpoint. 
Um, bridesmaids, very, very similar. So again, bridesmaids dresses can take six months to come in. So, but brides can also, um, what we've been telling a lot of brides, they can go online and choose the styles and colors that they want. Bridesmaids can submit their uh, measurements through our online portal and we can get their dresses ordered even through this quarantine. So we're really trying to help them out. Um, one of the other really cool things we have though is tuxedos. And we've got a really, some really cool capabilities with that that I absolutely love right now. Um, so couples um, can choose their tuxedos through our online portal. They can choose, you know, we, we our tux manager works with them still remotely and we can choose, you know, all the colors and vests and ties and everything else. Um, then the groomsmen can also um, groomsmen can also submit their measurements online as well. Um, we can ship the tuxes and even replacement items directly to each customer's home. So and they can ship them back directly after the wedding. So um, it's a really cool feature. They actually don't even have to come into our store right now if if they're quarantined, which we are. So um, so that, that, a, lot of, a lot of men are listening and loving that. Um, yeah, without the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually um, a super popular item with men because, um, as you can imagine, most men they're not going into a bridal shop once or twice and they're they're good. Yeah, so. I'm excited about having to try on those tuxes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, that's been really nice. So the the shipping um is for the tuxes has been especially awesome. Um, and then we're also, like I said, I'm just trying to help brides plan ahead. Um, a lot of people are going right to our website, which is tdsbridal.com. Um, they're booking their appointments for after the quarantine for bridal, bridal gowns, bridesmaids, tuxedos, or just contacting us with questions. Um, well, I'm mentioning our website. I should say we have a lot of really helpful planning tool, tool, tools, um, including blogs. We've got a wedding planning e-guide um, that's on the blog section of our website. So, um, so a lot of tools that are super, super helpful right now. Um, and I guess the two other things that we're doing, um, sorry, we're doing so many things. My brain's just. I know, no, I love it. I love it. Especially because Jessica, what I really love that I hear you saying too is you have pivoted and I mean, and you just keep pivoting. I mean, you, we look at what, what is happening to all small business owners right now. And you are a great example of being able to continue to provide this customer service that your brides and grooms need. In fact, Stephanie commented here, what a great service you continue to provide despite this challenging time. Um, Absolutely. I mean, you talk about how you're working around the clock, even on weekends. And I know many small business owners are to keep up. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's it's also a time when it could be easy to shut down. It could be easy to kind of say, OK, well, we're closed. You know, we'll, we'll figure this out when we can reopen. And you're not doing that. You're instead able to guide these brides and grooms through. Um, and like you said, even able to ship some of these dresses so that they arrive in time, just a really great example that I think other businesses can look to for that. So keep going, tell us, you know, what else you're doing, because I think also not only is this really good for brides and grooms to hear, but I think it's also really good for other businesses as we look for examples and kind of generate these ideas and brainstorm what we can be doing with our own businesses to help service our clients right now. Well, exactly. I mean, it's a scary, I mean, it's a scary time as a business owner. We've got, you know, I mean, it's a scary time as, is as, as everyone, no matter who you are, it's just, it's just scary. It's unknown. And so, yeah, we're doing everything we can. Um, so we want to help our, I mean, ultimately like our, our brides, our current brides, our future brides, like that's those, I want to make their day as good as possible. And this is, I can't even imagine the stress they're going through right now. So anything we can do, that's, that's kind of my goal. Um, you know, the two other areas that we're really working on, alterations is a big one. Um, as you can imagine, if you've got a spring or summer wedding, your dress is in alterations right now, or it's going to be really soon. So um, that, you know, rescheduling those brides, um, that's been fun <laughs> because um, <laughs> every day, you know, their dates are changing, um, you know, their, their needs are changing. And it's super stressful for a bride saying, am I going to get my dress altered in time? So um, as of right now, yes. Yeah, we're, we're still good with alterations where um, we've got an awesome alterations team. They're ready to come back and work. So um, we're, I've gotten everyone rescheduled and we're just, just going to keep going. We have to point this out too, Jessica, mm -hmm. because Stephanie pointed this out. Thanks for pointing this out, Stephanie. I We shared this as well last week that your team has been sewing face masks during this crisis in order to help the nursing community. Yeah. That yeah. is incredible, Jess. It's, it's awesome. They've, um, yeah, like nonstop. I mean, that's, it's, 
really, it's kind of, I'm very proud. We've got a really awesome team and just, they're just, and that was actually the last thing on my list was how awesome our team is. Um, that I've been in contact regularly with everyone. We have an awesome team and I couldn't run this business without them. And I like literally the other day, I sent a message to one girl. I was like, I miss your face. You know, it's just, um, this yeah. is, we just have, we, we need everybody there when we come back. And um, thankfully everyone's reporting that they're safe and that they're healthy, um, that they can't wait to get back and help our brides. Actually, I can't believe how many text messages I've got saying, I miss our brides. You know, so it's, it's kind of cool. It's everybody, we love what we do and we want to be there. And um, I've even had um, stylists and alterations, seamstresses um, text me saying, hey, this bride right here, have you talked to her? I'm concerned about this. And so everybody's home and I'm like, you're not supposed to be working. Let me handle this. But um, but everybody is everybody's home and thinking about work and the team and everybody can't wait to come back. And it's, we're, we're all going to get through this. I mean, it's, we're helping the brides get through, I'll hold our hand, their hands with everything. And um, I'm just really proud that, of the team that we have and that they're all going to be there when this is over as well, which is really Absolutely. Cool. I love to hear that too. When I was talking um, on Tuesday with Vicki Hamilton Allen, she's the CEO of Habitat for Humanity Capital Region. One of the things she said that has really stood out to a lot of our viewers is um, that at the end of the day, it's your team that's going to help you through the recovery. You know, as we're looking at small businesses, we're looking at nonprofits. And so, you know, when she was kind of um, talking about how, you know, she's been very fortunate at this point, there haven't been any staff cuts and she's really working hard, you know, just to see that through. And, and I know it's a very difficult decision. So I'm not certainly not saying anything about those who've had to make that decision with their teams. But I love what you're saying about how much your team matters, because I know even for myself, I'm realizing now more than ever, and sappy gratitude moment, but now more than ever, just how important it is, the people we have on our teams, the people that support our businesses, because that's what's going to get us through this. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it's true. And that's, that's, that's how we're all going to survive. And even just supporting each other and this, the strength of that, you know, when that, that we give each other, um, and I'm not going to lie. I don't, I, I know a lot about the dress shop, but I can't know everything. So I've had to reach out a couple of times and say, Hey, I'm um, receiving a bridal gown and that's not usually my job. So how do I do this? You know what I mean? And that's thank, thank God we've got such strong teams and, you know, such strong um, support systems. We all need that through this. And um, you know, I mean, we're, we're really lucky. And I, I think you're right. The teams are what's going to help with the recovery and that's, what's going to make all of our businesses come back stronger and better and help us to be able to continue to support, in our case, the brides, but in everyone's case, you know, the general consumer. Absolutely. Well, Jessica, thank you for spending your time talking with us. I'm sure your brides will have more questions than we've been able to get through today. What is the best way right now for them to get a hold of you? Um, right, right now, the best way is there's a contact us section on our website, which is tdsbridal.com. They can also email us at info at tdsbridal.com. We're not able to check our phones, unfortunately. Um, I don't have that capability set up, but maybe after this, I might look into that. But um, so right now, email and our website are going to be the best ways to reach us. And like I said, I am responding daily um, to all the inquiries. So I give me 24 up to 24 hours, but I will get back with everyone just as soon as I can. Excellent. And again, I will plug your your blog on your website. It is full of resources. So brides, mm -hmm. as you are planning your wedding, as you're figuring out, even, even if you're doing a small intimate gathering now and a big party later, um, lots of information um, on the tdsbridal.com website and on their social media pages as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. And thank you for the job you're doing, Julie. I mean, you're doing an invaluable service to the community and to all of us stuck at home wondering what do we do next, um, no matter what industry we're in. So I can't thank you enough. I mean, it's um, you've provided some invaluable information to me over the past couple of weeks, and I know you have to a lot of others, too. So thank you for what you're doing. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. Thanks, Jessica. I appreciate that. So Jessica Brooks of The Dress Shop, thank you for joining us. Coming up today, we have two more interviews coming up today um, that I want to quickly tell you about. At 1 o'clock Eastern, Patricia Scott, she's an attorney with Foster Swift, she's going to talk us through kind of this business as usual or really unusual, um, things we really need to think about as far as collections and payments and contracts and how do we um, start to develop these new normal processes for our businesses. Then at 3 o'clock today, Beth Peck, she is the executive director of Project Co 
Oru. Um, it's a nonprofit that works with cancer survivors. She's going to talk to us about some of these new programs they're implementing to keep their nationwide um, group of survivors connected. So some really interesting ideas there, and we'll hear how the COVID-19 epidemic is impacting um, the cancer community. So stay with us today for two more interviews. And of course, all of our interviews can be found on our website, mconnections.com. Okay, we'll see you back here at one o'clock today.